they spent two months preparing for this day, but they don't know if they will have to defend the pros or the cons, the yes or the no's. Because today we will discuss about the public enemy, fake news. With this question, will fake news be our downfall? We're living in a world where non-existing conflicts and dirty wars are synthesized in the internet. Never before have we had to be facing such a massive amount of information. In a large part because of fake news. There's a child, a grown child, that is president of the United States of America. I mean, we all have that, like, one cousin you go to have, like, you have to argue with online because they post something that they think is true. So it began with a simple algorithm and a lie, and it ended in a shooting. Anyone, right? But fake news exists because it creates ratings, right? Fake news is passed around on Facebook because people get money for the amount of clicks that they get. Have you ever heard of a president named Richard Nixon? <laughs> He was the first president of the United States and leader of the free world and democratic world to ever attack the media and the media attack him back. Mistrust because of the fake news is the poison that is destroying our society. Even one of the founding fathers of America, Benjamin Franklin, published a knowingly fake article in 1782. Thank you very much both teams for this very interesting debate. We will now let the judges make their decision. So the winner team is definitely the University of Luxembourg. <laughs>